Alrighty, so I'm bringing you my Nova Sorcerer's build, and I'm going to start off by showing you exactly what this thing can do with a Player's 8 difficulty. We'll go ahead and scroll down and prove it to you right here. Player's 8 difficulty solo Chaos Sanctuary run. And, uh, you know, I decided to switch it up this video to kind of show you a little bit different here of what this thing can do. Here is Player's 8 difficulty. I'm not going to take out every single monster, but you can see the type of work that this thing can put in. We're just going to jump from a pack to pack here and there. I'm not going to take out them all, like I said, but, you know, these are these uh, Venom Lords are some of the more powerful ones in the entire Chaos Sanctuary. But because this is a lightning build, actually, these Stormcasters, you see they're immune to lightning. Um, the Infinity will break that, but they are actually some of the slower monsters in the Chaos Sanctuary just due to their uh, lightning immunity being broken, but they're still their lightning res is incredibly high. See right there for that champion one how long that one took to take out. But actually, these guys, this is player's eight difficulty. It's pretty wild in my opinion. We'll just go ahead and pop some of these quicker here uh, and not really worry fully about that. This is actually one of the slower packs, like I said, for the same reason the Stormcasters have that uh, high lightning res. Grand Vizier out. Uh, go ahead and I'll just use the full rejuice drop all kind of all over the place in here, sorta. So if you use one once in a while, it's not a big deal take out uh, any of these packs super fast. The Sace's group, not a problem. They actually get ripped super quick. He's not immune to lightning, so he's going to get ripped super quick. And we'll go ahead and move on here. You see, there's not really any instance where you're really worrying about anything here. This build is so tanky, it is so quick, and it rocks a ton, a ton, a ton of damage. Um, I would say over here is probably the uh, most difficult one, but that being said, not particularly difficult at all, to be perfectly honest. Where's he at? There's Infector. Go ahead and go away, Infector. Boom, down he goes. We'll go ahead and take another full rejuve because there's another one right there. And we'll move on just for instance here. You wouldn't usually do this. I mean, online you'd have a bunch of help. But here is a Player's 8 difficulty Diablo run. Uh, Diablo kill here, I should say. And it's not particularly difficult mercenary that fire does deal quite a bit of damage to that mercenary but you see i personally my character never has an issue here at all he's just slapping away at me uh cast in i sat right through that fire without a problem and down goes diablo right there it is that quick that easy players eight chaos sanctuary runs solo that easy with this character and now we'll jump in here and we'll go a players eight i'll run here and we can watch how this works with this particular build. Go ahead and get everything buffed up there. And you can see it's not as fast as uh, some other stuff, I suppose, but it does work darn good here in the, even the cows. Players eight difficulty, like I said. Crazy, crazy how fast this is. And really super base or super easy too. You never have to worry about nothing with this build. That guy's lightning enchanted, so for the purposes of the video, I'm not gonna worry about that. You do occasionally, because you're casting so fast here, you do have to worry about mana slightly. There's literally potions everywhere, so it's not really that big of a deal. Here are some guys that are all ooh, mercenary got ripped in almost ripped in one hit there. We're gonna go ahead and move on from those bros can't control you can only make the mercenary so strong you know what i mean but you can see how this does work here players eight in cow games super fast super easy and like i said never an issue never a fear at all ever and boom game's easy when you have this character so for this one it's not the general maxed vita um i got just enough strength to wear my gear and then I have all the rest into energy, so you could guess, and you probably see me cast it at the very beginning. This is an energy shield Nova Sorceress build. So uh, before Battlers and everything, that's 2,400 mana right now, but that does go up a ton. And I'll go should jump to the advanced stat page here right off the bat. I have 118 faster cast rate, but I mean, Lightning and Chain Lightning are the 117. You really only need 105 but I didn't want to take off some of the other gear that gave me a bunch of cast rate. So I actually accidentally just ended up way over where I needed on that. I'm at the 60 FHR breakpoint. Um, with that, you just need a spirit shield and one 5% faster hit recovery small charm in your inventory and 276% better chance of getting magic items. This is very important. A lot of times with these types of sorceresses, I see people 
um, go strictly um, survivability and even with this particular build you've seen there's never an issue so really i always go with getting more gear that has magic find if you aren't trying to find better items i don't know i, I don't know what you're doing out there that's my favorite thing to do is get out and find better items so and 276 is a solid amount you could get higher if you wanted to you get four or five hundred if you really wanted to but then you'd be sacrificing kill speed and uh, a, a survivability too much in my opinion this is absolutely great spot to fall um the resistances here you see they aren't great but it really doesn't matter that much you've seen i soloed players eight chaos sanctuary with no problem so why would you even really worry about them if it's not a problem but we're going to go ahead and jump over now to the skill tree and this is where you see what i put my points into we'll start off with cold it's the easiest one right here i got frozen armor over here um so one point into that, and I did, just in case I was dabbling around with not using a cold aura mercenary, if you don't use a cold mercenary, you can just put one point in a frost nova, and then when you land next to monsters, you cast one frost nova, and then you go ahead and nova it up like crazy. It is a technique that a lot of people will use early on in Diablo 2, like in normal essentially, to slow everything down, and you can go ahead and do that if perhaps you want to rock something different. Uh, as far as the mercenary, maybe you want to go with the new Act 5, or maybe you just want an Act 2 mercenary that does more damage so you get the Might version, or whatever you feel like doing. So I did put one point into that. Now we go over to the Lightning skill tree here. This is where most of the points are going to go, because this is obviously Nova you've seen. You want to max out Nova to get that, that damage up. You want to max out Static because it's a synergy of Nova, and Static is a good skill to use. In certain instances, you could use it on the bosses and stuff like that. But really, even on players 8, Nova kills monsters so fast, there's no reason to use static. The damage from Nova is actually roughly around the same, it appears, as the amount of life it takes away when you use static. So I don't even bother using static at all, essentially, on this build. Uh, and obviously max out Lightning Mastery because the massive amount of percent damage to Lightning skills. Now, the other part of this build is over here, and that is you can see Telekinesis and Energy Shield are maxed out. Actually, Telekinesis is, ooh, that one point short. So if I really wanted to, I could take that one point out of here, and that would end up maxing that out. And this is a level 94 Sorceress, so that's how I get enough skill points here. And obviously, you know, you got to have Teleport here, too. Over on Fire, uh, I just put one point into Warmth. Um, if you want a faster mana regeneration, maybe, because that kind of actually adds to the survivability of this build you could do that i wouldn't necessarily recommend it but this is the way i would go and that's that's why i went ahead and did this so now we'll look at the gear i decided to go with here and this is kind of um hybrid towards getting more mana and getting magic find and all the damage i think this is the best option and you've just seen what it does so you can do builds where there's even quote unquote more survivability there is a slightly more max damage version. I'll talk about that a little bit as I go along here. So I love the Oculus. People hate the Oculus, except for me. Uh, a lot of people do anyways. Because of that chance to teleport at the top, I don't worry about it. All the other stats. And when you ist it, you get 80% better magic find. That's a lot of magic find to get on an item. And all the other stats are really good, obviously. The Hoto, throw it in here, uh, will be an absolutely perfectly fine option as well. But I like to go with the oculus right here like i said for the magic find or you can go with that crescent moon sword because it has a minus to enemy lightning res on it so that will actually increase the kill speed even more there's a little bit of things here you could swap around and then you could get even more a damage such as that one and, and the increased kill speed and then you could get fcr in a different location if you wanted to up here at griffin's um Griffin's an absolutely great option up here with the cast rate, the minus uh, and plus to lightning res and lightning damage, respectively. Uh, one to all skills up there on the Griffin's as well. Um, I got just kind of the best Sorceress Ammo you got. I don't even need any FCR in this, really, but I got two to Sorceress skills with the all res. Spirit Shield, obviously, going to go be a go-to there. I went with Enigma here. The uh, All that strength allows you to plow, 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 plow points into mana. Then you got damage reduction or increased life just for that safety buff right there. 15% um, damage taken goes to mana. but And really, you got the life after kill. So if your life goes down at all, when you kill stuff, that's essentially like having life leech on a caster. 
So that's another just a quick little safety thing. If your life does come down from being poisoned or something, it'll go right back up. No problem. The massive amount of magic find and strength on this, though, is really the main reasons why I absolutely love using Enigma, even on a sorceress, when you don't need that one to teleport. Now, the gloves and boots are a little bit different than I generally use, but I have frost burns for the increased mana over here because I didn't need any cast rate from the Trangs or from Mage Fist in order to get over the breakpoint that I needed to get to. I'm not, I did not go up to the 194 or 200, 205, I forget exactly what it is for this particular one, but I didn't go for it, so I didn't really even bother looking at it. And then over here, Silk Weaves, increased maximum mana and mana after kill keeping that mana higher and keeping it up because you do suck through mana using Nova and obviously Energy Shield. Your mana is your survivability. Uh, we got more FCR and one to all skills here and increased max mana on the Erectus Mesh really is the absolute best option there. And you want to go with two Stone of Jordans here. Ooh, Sweet Phil's only got one Stone of Jordan on this character. I didn't have another one to use, but I would much prefer a, another Stone of Jordan right here. Now on Switch, obviously... CTA and a spirit to get your mana and life up higher and all the good stuff that comes along with using that. All right, now we'll glance down at the charms here. We've got a Torch and Annie, pretty obvious. We got Magic Find charms up down here, and you did see the one faster hit recovery small charm. Very important to get to the 60 FHR breakpoint with the spirit. So it's super easy, just one charm. You might as well throw it in there, even if you don't think getting to that breakpoint is uh, necessary. But here we got a bunch of lightning skillers. You want to fill up with lightning skillers in here and, and a geeds for the magic find. Obviously, I like to throw my town portals down in the belt. Super easy. You can slap them. You already got your key, your fingers ready to be taking potions or changing spells or whatever. And that way you won't waste a key binding. I know now you can put a put a tomb up here and key bind it to put up a portal. But And also this way you save just a tad, tad bit of room in your inventory down here to get a couple of extra charms doing it that way. It's just something that I've done for a very long time, and I kind of just still like doing it. And we look at the mercenary. Super obvious what I'd use here. We got Infinity, we got Fortitude, and we got Andariel's Visage. Absolute go-to right there. So yeah, this build right here has me pretty excited. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to end up using this Nova Sorceress build at the beginning of Ladder. And let me know the different types of Nova builds that you do, because I know... This build, you could actually not go Energy Shield, you go Max Vita, and you could end up putting points into dual specking it for Frozen Orb or for Fireball or all, all different kinds of stuff. Let me know your favorite variation of this Nova Sorceress here for the 2.4 patch. Peace out, guys, and don't forget, keep slaying!